everyone, this is Ross, and uh, today we're going to take a look at my tomatoes. This one you're looking at right here is called uh, Striped German. It's a really nice, interesting heirloom tomato that I actually will, as soon as this video is finished, I'm going to bite into this and eat the probably the entire thing. You can see I took a couple slices out of it, but uh, really, really beautiful tomato. I'm just going to put that down. It's also quite tasty. Um, I haven't really been enjoying the heirlooms nearly as much as I would have liked. Um, last year was my first year with um, some really tasty heirloom tomatoes, specifically pink brandywine and black crim. They blew me away. This year we tried many different varieties and one of my favorites this year, which is definitely a clear winner that I'll grow definitely next year and maybe years to come, is called Green Zebra. And you can see it's getting quite ripe now um, I've already picked about seven tomatoes off of this vine it's really productive and all of my tomatoes by the way we're growing them vertically up stakes I talked about the process of how I'm doing this in a previous video and I just coming out here every day and I graze on these tomatoes the really big beefsteak types um, I usually bring these guys inside here's black prince really not a fan of this tomato I've I though I picked about five or six off of here so far. You can see that most of these vines are approaching 10 feet now. Sorry for the, the light there, guys. But they're approaching 10 feet. You know, we're letting, we're letting them branch out at the top and then they'll cascade downwards now that they've reached the tops of their, their stakes. And just trying to get as much fruit set in them that I can before the season ends. That right there is a, a striped German as well. And you can see it's got really nice color to it that uh, may even be end up being better than my the current one that I've been eating. I picked somewhere about four off a of striped German and we have a mortgage lifter, which you can see right in there. Pretty decent sized tomatoes, I, have, I must say. Um, and Mortgage Lifter is a nice pink tomato. You know, we've got different colors here. We've got the, the green tomatoes from the, the green zebra, a black tomato and the black prince. You know, striped German's more of a yellow tomato. And then we have uh, Mortgage Lifter down there, which is a nice pink tomato. But still, overall, you can't beat black crim and uh, pink brandy wine. Here we have... Um, an interesting tomato that my girlfriend wanted me to grow. This is called Clementine. You can get seeds from Johnny's. And behind it is Mountain Magic, which is like its, its duo, its partner in crime that a lot of people will partner up together and put them in, you know, little things to buy at farmer's markets. But this tomato is not actually not that bad. I kind of like it. Sorry, I'm trying to get the camera to focus, but... I don't know. Not the best tomato, but you could tell it has it had some interesting flavor when I've had them more ripe than this. And the inside looks a bit mealy there, but it's actually quite good. We also have like all kinds of cherry tomatoes that I really am a big fan of. I've done videos on my Super Sweet 100. It's a really, really productive tomato. And you can you can tell because it's got like a cluster of fruits here, and then right off of that is new flowers coming out, new fruits that are forming. As the vine gets older throughout the season, more mature, I planted this one from seed, by the way. I didn't even start this one indoors. This vine will just have unbelievably long clusters of fruit it's really crazy and then we also have you know of course the classic sun gold back in here and because i'm growing them vertically they really do well with disease i have had no problems doing this with any tomato any year you can see right in here on my mortgage lifter the the leaves are starting to get yellow probably some kind of disease right but what we'll do is, because we already harvested this cluster down here, we need to be on top of this 
take out that cluster here and take out any leaves below the next cluster, which is this tomato right here. So that's what we'll do today is we gotta prune these guys, give them a little bit of care, maybe even tie them up to this, the stakes, you know, get this little bit there tied up. And that's about it. I mean, it's really simple growing these tomatoes. Um, vertically, I find that you get really nice production. We even have like two behind here that we also started from seed that are just now poking through the peppers. You can see the peppers are putting out actually pretty good production. I was really worried that they wouldn't. And uh, they're actually doing really, really well. You know, each pepper has about three ripe peppers on them. This is my Carmen pepper, which is incredibly tasty. It's got four really long peppers on them and with more to come, which is really nice to see. I think this one does pretty well here for a larger tomato or a larger uh, pepper. You also have the Jimmy Nardello down here. We started Jimmy Nardello from seed and guess what? It's already got five fruits on it. How nuts, right? This is a flavor burst pepper.